Today I'm going to show you how bug bounty hunters can get a lot of stuff on websites for free, but make sure to be responsible and report these findings to the bug bounty programs. And if you want to learn more about this, make sure to check out the course, which you can find using the link in the description down below. As you can hear by the sound of my voice, I'm pretty sick actually, and I still decided to make a video for you. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you a unique and neat trick that you are overlooking on most of these bug bounty platforms. And if you are a company watching this video or a company owner, please make sure to check this out. I will uh, explain later in the video what you should do instead of what these guys did in this test website. So without further ado, let's just go straight into it. So the one thing we have to do right here is purchase this lightweight leather jacket. But you can see that it's quite pricey. So let's click on view details and let's add this to the cart. Now go over here back to the cart and you can see that we can't quite purchase this just yet. So let's go over here to the account and let's log in with our default credentials. And as you can see, we have $50 store credit. But this card but this thing is quite pricey so how can we get this for cheaper well if you are already on my channel i showed this trick already but i have to re-show it because how be how much people overlook this issue so please i just want to raise awareness of people who are especially me i once have done the e-commerce website and i overlooked this myself so let's copy this promo 20 and what happens is if you apply this coupon code right here and click apply it applies 20 percent off and that's it. It's just a little cheaper, but still we can't purchase it. So let's remove this promo code and let's go over here and enable the Foxy Proxy. Let's do that. So let's now enter in promo code again and let's click apply. And then let's kill our proxy so that we can observe what happened here. As you can see, there is a post request which we can send to the repeater and see how it looks like. It takes us our coupon code and if we send it, it says here that the coupon is already applied. And if we go back and remove the coupon and go back here and send it, you can see that the coupon has been applied. So this website is checking this well. There's nothing we can do about it unless there is. <laughs> so let me show you this trick. So let's go back to the proxy right now and let's just cl right click on this and add this to the repeater a couple of times. This request for applying a coupon. Let's just do that a few times. So what I've done is I applied this, I added this request multiple times here in the repeater. And what I can do is right click on the last one and go over here to add this tab to the group and we can create a new group. Let's say apply coupon. Then you can select the color, or for instance, I don't care, you can select anything and then drag these each tab and put it right here in this group. After you have done this, you can basically close this up and now you're good to go. So make sure that the coupon right here is not applied. And if we refresh the page, we can see that the coupon has not been applied. We can go back here and then click on this arrow a little down here and then so send the group in parallel. You have to select this. And what this would do is it will single packet this whole thing. What it would do is send each request at the exact same time. So let's just go ahead and do that. So if I click this button right here, as you can see, we get this coupon applied for our 9th, 10th, 11th, nah, 12, 13, 14, 15, no, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So some of these requests, as you can see, show, show that the coupon has been applied, but some of them show that the coupon has not been applied. And if we go back and refresh the page, we can see that the promo 20 all of a sudden takes us $1,000 off of this leather jacket. So let's just repeat what we have done with more requests. So right now I've added more requests and I'm going, I'm going to send this all in apparel. So let's just see if this will drop it down to a lot. Let's see. Oh my God. We're only like, we're so close to get this for absolutely al almost free. Now, again, you cannot get this for free because it's taking 20% off. And by this logic, you will never hit zero. But if you just do this enough times you can get it to a roughly affordable price instead of just being this oversat now i'm not again saying that you should do that but here is the explanation to all of you companies and everyone who is interested on why this is happening 
So the way that this actually all works is this is the request to take off 20%. And this is what happens once I send this request from the repeater or from the browser. It first things first hits the server right over here, which then forwards it to the function, which is the responsible for taking off 20% off. So it goes over here then, which applies 20% off to the product which you have added to the cart. And then it goes over here and then saves that the fact that you have applied 20% off and then the request is gone. So basically to run this all out backwards, you set the request, it takes off 20% off of the price and then it reaches the stage where the coupon has been invalidated. You cannot use it again because it's saved in the database of your cart that you have already applied this coupon and the coupon is gone. So the way that this attack works is once I send a one request, for example, I'll send two. Once I send the one request and it hits here, I also send another request just literally a millisecond after or not even a millisecond. It's just so small amount that the server gets very confused. So once this stage is the stage of where it's supposed to get the coupon applied, this request has already arrived and it's about to reach the stage where it also gets its coupon applied. Once this request has already applied the coupon and it's about to hit the server where the coupon is invalidated, this one reaches the stage where it takes the coupon and we just successfully apply the coupon two times before the coupon has been validated aka this is called race conditions and there is a safe way to implement this but if you want me to make a video about that or you want to learn more about this make sure to check out my course link is in the description and if you use the code on the screen you get a huge amount of percent off and don't worry this actually works normally you should don't encourage you to test it because i'm not using my own functionality again so make sure to check it out link is in the description